بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ و آلہ وسلم اللہ رب زدنی علما صلی اللہ علیہ و آلہ وسلم آمین الحمد للہ رب العالمین اگزامپلز آف کنٹینیوس ڈسٹریبیوشن ان ٹیسٹنگ آف ہائپوتھیسس اینڈ امپارٹنٹ ایڈوائز وی شوڈ بی نائس ٹو ایوری ون دس کوشچن از فرام مارچ ٹوینٹی ون پیپر سکس ٹو کوشچن تھری An architect wishes to investigate whether the buildings in a certain city are higher on average. So he is looking for an increase in mu. So he should perform the upper tail test, one tail test. Then buildings in other cities. He takes a large random sample of buildings from the city and finds the mean height of the buildings in the sample. He calculates the value of the test statistic Z, Z test, which is 2.41. Explain briefly whether he should use a one-tail test or a two-tail test. A one-tail test. Because look for an increase. carry out the test at the 1% significance level so we need to check what is the value of 1% either from calculator or normal distribution table so this value is 2.326 this is known as z critical if you are using calculators put 1% directly if you are using normal distribution table then find phi inverse 0.99 and you need to compare these two values this with this so you need to write as 2.41 lies in critical region see 2.41 is here because it's greater than 2.326 that is 2.41 is greater than 2.326 here we reject h not if the test value lies here always reject h not if the test value lies here then accept h not so reject h not that is sufficient evidence that mu has increased or higher buildings in the city So this is the way to write the conclusion. Here you need to write higher buildings on average. Must mention on average because mean means average. Next question. This question is from specimen 20 paper 6 question 7. The mean weight of bags of carrots is mu kilograms. An inspector wishes to test whether mu is 2.0. This means whether mu is 2.0 or not. So this is h1 and this is h0. And this is a two tail test. He weights A, hand, a random sample of 200 bags and he got these results so here we need to find mu cap and sigma cap square as well 10% significance so number one we need to find mu cap sample mean sigma x over n 430 over 200 so 43 upon 2 which is uh, 2 point 
वन फाइव सिग्मा कैप स्क्वेयर टू हंड्रेड अपॉन वन नाइन्टी नाइन वन टू नाइन ज़ीरो अपॉन टू हंड्रेड यू हैव डन दिस इन सैम्पलिंग टू पॉइंट वन फाइव होल स्क्वेयर एंड द आंसर ऑफ दिस इज सेवन थर्टी वन ओवर थ्री नाइन्टी एट now we need z test since population is unknown and sample size is large as population is unknown and ns is 200 that is large so this is the application of clt central limit theorem so according to clt x bar is approximately normal one minute let me add one page okay so x bar is normal approximately normal with mean 2. टू पॉइंट ज़ीरो दिस इज द मीन टू पॉइंट ज़ीरो फर्स्ट राइट एच नॉट विच इज म्यू टू पॉइंट ज़ीरो एंड वी राइट दिस वैल्यू हेयर रिमेंबर दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एच नॉट सिग्मा कैप स्क्वेयर इज सेवन थर्टी वन ओवर थ्री नाइन्टी एट and ns is 200 so this is the distribution of x bar and h1 is mu is not equal to 2.0 now we need z test this is the formula of z test x bar minus mu over square root of this quantity Sigma cap square over n s. So by substituting the values of all into this formula, we have x bar is two point one five, mu is two point zero, and square root of this quantity seven thirty one over three ninety eight times two hundred. when we will solve this we'll get this value 1.6 sorry 1.565 this is z test now we need to compare this with z critical the significance level is 10% which is divided into equal parts because it's a two tail test 5% here 5% here and this value is 1.645 this is minus 1.645 since we are getting positive value so we will compare this value with this value so by comparing these two values 1. or you can say z test is less than z critical that is one point five six five is less than one point six four five so except h not because your value is here this is in accepted region this is not in critical region so except h not that is insufficient evidence to say that mu has changed 
there is no evidence to say that mu has changed this is the way to solve uh this questions of these types continuous distribution first we got uh x bar then we got sigma cap square and then according to clt we wrote the distribution of x bar then we wrote h naught h1 then we got z test with the help of this formula and then we compared the this z test with the critical value this value lies here it's not in critical region it's in accepted region here we accept h naught and here we reject h naught we reject h naught here and here since the value does not lie in critical region so we accepted h naught and we concluded that insuff insufficient evidence to say that mu has changed hope this lecture will help you to understand the questions of continuous distribution good luck and allah hafiz